everyone, Flippin' Landlord Ninja here with Two Guys Take on Real Estate. I'm excited to talk about a topic that I don't hear enough about, and that's wholetailing. What is this? Well, this is where you can make some great money with very little time. So as always, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification because we're coming out with new videos every week. Two Guys Take on Real Estate. Wholetailing, what is that? Well, we all know about wholesaling, right? You guys watch all of our videos, I hope, uh-huh, right? Okay, so you've seen every single video we've got on wholesaling where you're making some great, great money, where you're flipping contracts, you're putting it, you know, finding a fantastic deal, and you put it under an assignment contract, you sell it to an investor, they make some money, you make some money, the seller gets the property sold, it's a win, 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 yay, right? So you know about that. Well, and then you've also watched our videos on retail where you're flipping a property which is so much fun you're having a great vision you're taking this you know mold ridden maybe this dilapidated old smoke infested you know property and you're smashing the walls down you're putting in brand new kitchen cabinets granite everywhere you know brand new floors fresh paint everywhere you're making the property look gorgeous and it's you know hitting the market and you're selling it like crazy and you're loving that right so those are two fantastic ways to make a lot of money now wholesaling it's all about finding the deal yes you're then you know and you're making a nice little profit for very little of your time and you're putting up no money great return awesome flipping you're uh, buying a property you're then actually also you know putting quite a bit of time and money into it but generally you're getting a good return on that too right well, right in between, we've got whole tailing. All right, and so let me explain what that really is and how it could be a fantastic way for you, even a bigger return than the whole sailing, uh, but not as much time as you have invested in retailing, okay? So you do have to put a little bit more money, but let's talk about it here, because the return can be phenomenal. Let's just say you found a fantastic deal. And you don't, you actually have the capital, maybe in a HELOC or whatever it might be. So you have found a fantastic deal, right? That you, you know, maybe you were driving for dollars or you found it on a condemn list or you did a pre foreclosure or maybe you won it at a foreclosure auction, like those ones you see on our live TikToks all the time, right? Well, you see all that and you've got this great deal, and but you actually have a HELOC. So you can actually buy that property. You're not just gonna flip it for a quick five, 10, 15,000. You're like, wait a minute, I can buy this property. I've got the money tied up, but I don't really have the time to rehab it. So what can I do? Well, guess what? You can do, especially right now, if it's habitable, so easy. You trash it out, you know, you move maybe the tenant out or the owner out, you get them out, you, tr you know, just do a quick trash out maybe, and then you just pop it up on the MLS. You just pop it out there, put it on you know, the MLS yourself or put it up on Zillow you know, for sale by owner, that's it. And then just wait for all the people to come in. Especially right now, holy moly, there is so much demand right now that you will get so many people coming to look at their property. And guess what, even if it's not habitable, so the plumbing is gone or the heating systems are gone, well, still do that, pop that up on the MLS, pop it up on Zillow. I would not be shocked for you to get that closed and locked in by an investor within the first couple days because it's so hot right now. So you close on that property, you trash it out, you cleaned it up a little bit, right? You're putting it back up on the market and honestly, whether it be if it's actual um, habitable, you're gonna have such a you know crazy pool of buyers that will come in and they don't mind doing those repairs or sprucing it up. Maybe they wanna actually put it the way they want it. Maybe they want the kitchen different than you would have done it, whatever, and they have the time and money to do it. And because they're still getting it below market and the fact that there's no inventory out there right now, they're super excited so they can get that property and you know move forward. You will have to be, of course, mindful that if they come in with uh, a loan or something like that, you could have some issues with the bank financing um, and may want certain repairs. So you just gotta make sure you're clear that this is an as-is property, uh, especially when you're marketing it, that you're not gonna do all the FHA requirements or whatever it might be, uh, because that could be quite a bit more work. 
And if it's a non-habitable property, uh, maybe you're just gonna get an investor. And one thing, you could still get an investor as well for the other occupied ones too, possibly, if there's enough spread. And you can easily make far more than the five or $10,000, $15,000 assignment fee you would have as a wholesaler, because now you're actually, you know, took some risk out. So you're putting that in there, you're trashing it out, you're giving the people a bigger, uh, better walkthrough, and you're having a broader audience. So you're being able to put it out to the MLS and Zillow and Redfin and all these great places. And now all of a sudden you're, and you have more time to close. So whereas a wholesaling deal, generally you have, you know, a quick, very short time frame to close. Now people have a little bit more time. They can put together financing better. You generally can make a bigger spread. I wouldn't be shocked to see you making 30, 40, $50,000 on a whole tail. We do it all the time. We've done hundreds of these over the last few years and it's fantastic. I mean, just popping it up there, the amount of effort on your part is very minimal. Once you have that deal, uh, you're, that's the hard part, it's finding that deal. And then, you know, you basically just trash it out and maybe you hire someone to trash it out and then you just slap it up in the market. Take some pictures, slap it up in the market, boom. And now you're looking at, you know, just turn it over to the lawyer or the title company to close and you're looking for the next deal. This is another great way for you to leverage your HELOC or at lines of credit that you can use to now buy this property and then once you sell it, you can then quickly flip it. You could also use a hard money lender as well and then, you know, once again, pay off that hard money lender, pay off the HELOC, whatever it might be. And this is a great way to keep building up your capital uh, that you can then maybe leverage into later on for a, uh, check this out, it's wholetailing. We love it, we do it often. Besides wholesaling and wholetailing, of course we do some fix and flips, but you having a little a bit of each and each property can be a little different scenario. So one might really fit really well in a fix and flip. Maybe it's a, yeah, a quick one you can get done, get on the market, maximum value. It's all about figuring out what is the maximum value and the velocity of your money at the time. And maybe your money's tied up right now and you just need to focus on wholesaling. Um, maybe you have some capital that you, but it's not the time so you can wholetail it. Or maybe you do have the time and the money and you wanna flip it, then you can do that. So each scenario you can pick different way. Here's another one. So I just wanted to give this out to you guys because I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but we love it and we've made some fantastic returns on this. So as always, if you like this, please you know share this with other people. And if you wanna learn more about something also called the Burr Strategy, check this out. This is how we grew to 500 rental units and you can too. Thanks guys.